Hey Rose, it's Friday. Nah, who am I kidding? It's Saturday. Wah, wah. But being a day late's better than missing a day altogether, right? So, upgrade. But seriously though, I really need to get back in my groove. This move has got me thrown all out of whack. But I did get this fresh new haircut this morning, so there's that. Oh, anyway, a few nights ago, me and my friend Brett were drinking and playing darts, which of course turned from darts into how well can we throw the darts backwards, which for safety reasons, I definitely do not endorse. Oh, shit. Did you get it? Or did you get the wood? Oh, uh, you got the table. Oh, my God, I'm covering my eyes like every time. Did you get one? Oh. oh. But anyway, while we were playing, a bat flew through the door into the back porch. I want him to land again. I want, oh yeah. my god, he's trapped in here. Now, being the curious person that I am, I decided that I needed to investigate a little further. Now, I want to say, just like throwing darts backwards, this could potentially be a very dangerous situation if you don't know what you're doing. I was wearing very thick gloves, and I have some experience in handling wild animals. But man, I have never held a bat before, and it was awesome! Although... I'm not quite sure the bat would describe the situation in quite the same way. This is happening right now. This is dope. I'm holding he's a trying bat. To get, he's, trying to, he's trying to get out, but we're being very careful. He's, he's all right. The coolest part was examining his wings and their structures. It's amazing to me how large of a wingspan this little guy had considering how tiny the rest of his body is. And when you consider that his wings are just highly specialized hands, it makes it really fascinating to see their structures up close. So yeah, holding a bat was awesome. Mostly for me, less for the bat. And while we're at it, let's keep this train of upsetting animals going, shall we? So, a couple of days ago, I gave Bender a flea treatment, and after a couple days, she's supposed to get a bash to wash off some of the remaining chemicals so they don't irritate her skin. Well, here's the deal. Bender hasn't had a bath in probably five or six years, maybe ever, because Bender hates water. And I know, I know, all cats hate water, but Bender really hates water. Like, Bender thinks water will kill her. She doesn't even like to walk past the bathroom because she knows of the unspeakable evils that take place in there. So me and my infinite wisdom thought it would be cute and funny to video Bender getting a bath and likely not enjoying it. But boy, was I wrong. The video is less cute and more like it looks like I'm torturing animals. So yeah, you probably don't want to see that. But I'm going to show you anyway. Again, keep in mind so you guys don't leave me a ton of hate in the comments. Bender may seem like she's getting abused here. She'd like you to think that. But remember, we're talking about water. Regular old water. Enjoy. You are not going to like this at all. Oh. I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's just... God. You just have to. You just have to. I'm sorry. You just have to. Come down. It's fine. Wait. Hey, Bender. Bender, kitty. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just need to clean you off. I'm sorry. This is not a happy kitty. No, you're not going back in. Calm down. <laughs> you look like an ugly rat. How was your first bath ever, probably? <laughs> By the look of it, not so good. Bender, you're a good kitty. Let's give her a treat. Wow, I have not felt like this much of an asshole in a really long time. Luckily, Bender forgave me pretty quickly as soon as I dried her off and scratched behind her ears. And that is true love. Speaking of true love, Rose, we'll see you on Monday. Bye.